Hi guys. Um, yes, finally got around to haircut. Have now for a while. Um, it's slowly getting sorted in here. This has been mounted down. Um, basically, today, if the weather holds off, basically we got a 12 volt pump in there. So I'll see the solar one went on that one there. Um, which we run off the solar panels. Not that little fiber one up there, that keeps the battery inside the shed topped up. Um, the tester basically just ran this wire here and it, it works good. I I don't know what... Let's do that. I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, I know what it's like with a 100 watt panel on it. Seems to work fine. I know what it's like with 40 watts panels on it. Works fine. But when the sun's right at the top, I don't know what it's going to be like with 140 watts panels, solar panels on it. Maybe too much for the pump. But basically, we've got this armor cable here, which we had left over. I don't know if you can see that. So basically, I'm going to run it from the shed under the ground and into the box there. Um, Basically, it's so you can see me. There we go. Basically, there's three cables in there, all right? So one of those cables will be running off the battery for when we put light in, in the deck in. So we're off the battery. The other cable will be going from the solar panels to the pump. Um, but the earth side of things will be connected to the battery as well as the solar panel. Uh, it won't use up the battery and it won't use up part of the solar panel. So basically I'll have a separate bit for battery and a separate bit for just solar. Um, God, it's, it's hell of a lot colder today. Hell of a lot colder. But um, yeah, this wire's a bit of a stretch. So I cut this and we're going to bury this plus being armoured cable as well. It'll make it a bit, a bit more durable to handle the ground and, and walking over and stuff like that and any diggers that we get in, which we do need to do, because we need to flatten this off uh, big time. Plus, we're in the middle of um, Sweden Milan to get a hot tub to put here. And then what we'll do is we'll get a hot tub put here with decking around it, and we'll have a ramp coming up kind of to it. Um, yeah, that's the uh, that's the plan anyway. Um, yeah, so hopefully the weather holds off. Believe it or not, we're meant to be having really crappy rain all day today. But yesterday we had more cloud and rain than we have today so far. Can you work on that? Hmm, neither can I. Um, yeah, that's the that's the plan anyway, guys. So basically, well, you can see what I've done here. Look. So I've plugged the 40 watt and the 100 watt in together, and I had it running down from there. Yeah, where's two? Into the cable there, just to test it. And it worked pretty good. When I didn't drill the holes, there we go. When I didn't drill the holes out at the top to make the fountain, it, <laughs> it kind of went too high. Kind of went higher than. Ooh, where are we going? That post. There we go. That post there. Um, plus, if it sprays out a little bit, it doesn't matter because the amount of rain we have done here anyway, it it will keep water level down on it. So, but we're hoping today as well that we'll clean the pond out because it is absolutely minging. But because of the sun and whatnot, we can see all the crap on the top of it, look. Because, obviously, as the majority of the sun panned down on this, it uh, goes green fairly quickly, so... Um, yeah, I've left the tripod inside again, so I won't be setting you up on that. That's my bad again, I know. But we can make a start. 
But yeah. Shaving off some of this, I suppose. Uh, I could do this bit inside, I suppose. Could do that. Plus, it's gonna be a bit warmer in here. Uh, where can I pick you? Where can I pick you where you will be able to see what I'm doing? It's a bit dark, isn't it? Will that make it any better? Hmm, it's gonna make it any better. Not really. Right, we'll just crack on with it then anyways. Why not, eh? I'd rather go over. You can always cut some more off. Of course, my mum's tiny blade is the sharpest. And the good thing about this is you can hammer on it all you want and you won't go through because the armor cabling is around it. The only thing is it's difficult to spin this thing around. So yeah, um, once I've got this off, I'll show you what I mean. So there's the armoured cable in right there. So basically th these... I know this is not meant for 12 volt, but it will do. Um, these are actually meant for supplying power to your house. So I'll quickly just snip these off. And we'll keep these because they actually come in handy for a lot of things. Plus they're strong as well, because obviously they're meant to be in there, so. Yeah, it's coming quite a bit colder now, actually. I'm surprised how quickly it's come in. Yet yeah, this hurricane's meant to bring in... Well, they did think it was meant to bring in hot weather to us. And then that suddenly changed. So, I don't know. We'll see what it brings, shall we? Best way for it. Come on. What in the hell, man? Thank you, Jesus. Nice little bit, then we take the inner sleeve off, is it? that one. You can go ahead now and do the inner part. This bit you do need to be a little careful because you don't want to be blown through to the actual cables that you want. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing all well. It was uh, obviously my son's birthday on the third, which sucked. But I do eh? It was a pretty crappy day that day for me. Jesus, come on, there we go.
There we go. Right, so what we've got here is we've got a brown, a grey, and a black. I don't know if you can see those colours. Um, so what we'll do is, black well, I'll have for the ground, so that'll be connected into the battery as well as the solar panels. Grey I'll have solar panels only, and brown will have um, battery. That's the plan anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's take this back to the side and start feeding up where it needs to be. Actually, I should probably bring those. It's probably going to need them. Uh, I'm caught my jack now. I'm caught my son. I don't even know where to stick you right now. Ew. Hmm. Yeah. Christ. It's gonna wedge you up. I can't see what you're looking at. This side of them. That side of them Whoa, can't even see. Whoa, wrong way. Ah, oh, there we go. What a nightmare this is. Hopefully, you'll stay there and not fall over. Please. <laughs> so, obviously, these, these are all new. And I'm using just an old one because it's already got a hole in, which we need to cut bigger anyway. So, might as well, right? No point starting a new one and wasting a new one if there's something already got a hole in it. But yeah, this because there's not going to be much running through this, it should be absolutely fine for for the 12 volt that I need. Cut it like it's meant to be. Um, I should really go grab a clip to keep this clipped back like this so it doesn't move. Are we all good there? Yeah, we're good there. All right, let me go quickly grab a clip. Alright, got a clip guys. I think that's like that would do good. Might need a bigger screw actually. No, seems pretty good. I do. So, like I said, earth. So you can see that. Earth, battery, solar. Um, maybe a case where we don't have enough room because I want to put a switch in here as well for the pond pump. So that might be a good idea. Two more clips, and that should be all good there. Go down, and then. Bloody dig up, yay. Uh, why is it always going to come over to rain? Um, I don't think I've got any more blocks either for connecting cables together, which is just fantastic. Um, don't won't need something that long. I may just I'll grab my screwdriver and Yeah, there's not a lot of fuel left in there. Bonfire, my bad. 
So yeah, I'll disconnect these and I'll probably use this cable here because this one here is long enough. So I'm gonna need two hands. So let's put you up there and let's see if I get you in view. Maybe it's not too bright. I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in a bit. I won't zoom in that much just because I move it around a lot. Obviously don't forget though this solar panel is going to be working now, so make sure all this stays separate so that it kind of don't short each other out because uh, that went badly for you. Yeah, should be right. So, I've got the cable that I need. I'm going to need to trim some of this off because I'm not going to need more. But that's fine. It's no problem whatsoever. So let me uh, zoom you back out, mm, there we go, and we'll head, uh, let's head down here a minute quickly, to see how much cable I actually need, so let me move it back here a minute. Come on, stable. That will do. So basically, same again. I've used because the, on the pump it's got the blue cable for the um, for the negative. And the brown for the positive, that's just the same principle we use all throughout. So, so I'll cut about there. Like I said, always go over. Better to go over. So, either that, I'll quickly go grab a snip some that. I'll be right back. Grass is still lovely and wet, of course. So again, go over the top of that because you can always shave some off. This one here again, you'll have three cables because obviously it's a main cable, but you won't. Oh, Jesus. You won't need it, all three of them. Ready? Yeah, you won't need all three of them. So I'll see. Only two cables that's needed. So, obviously, the two that we're going to be using are the blue and the brown. So this earth one, which would actually be an earth, can uh, quite frankly sort off. So we'll shave. Shave off so we've got some actual wires. Yeah, it'll be fine. So now we'll... Uh, Get this out now. Literally, just want to literally just put like a little cross in the end. So then you make sure it's an actual decent seal on it, because this garden actually gets a fair bit of wind. You don't want um, any rain getting up in. Come on. 
one. Can you grab the other one now? If I can. There we go. So close. There we go. So you can see now, it's a nice, nice and sealed there. Basically, got that there. I don't even know how I'm going to get this bit into the shed yet. So I don't want to go drilling holes if I don't need to. That's that one. Um, I don't know if you can see this. As you, as you can see, I've left loads more than I need. But it just means you can pull more up for if you need to and take some off. Wow, the sun's uh, getting warm. So we're going to shave off the uh, outfits of this one now. So of course, the earth, like I said, put into the pump, in this case is the blue one. So there'll be a, like a, a little dental box thing in here where I'll be connecting the black one, which is the earth, and the blue one. And then you'll have the earth, the lights coming into this one. And then you have solar panel and battery. So solar panel one, for instance, would be going to the brown one here. That connected, done, left. And the battery will be for the future of the lights we want to stick in the decking. So, uh, I think it's going to be best to connect these now. Right, I think I want to make a block from there. I think I have a spare one on there. So. So yeah, had a spare one here that was connected, all part of it. Obviously you get them in lengths of that I think, and you cut them down to whatever size you need. So this one will go for the earth one, we'll get the earth one sorted from that. Actually no, let's, get, let's do the live one. Oh, use Mr. Me. What's the button? It's Kirsty. Should we have? Should we have a look? And again. Or oh, it might be mate actually, he's been talking to me about the blowers. Actually, I think it might be. Jesus. So, live to the grey one, which is a uh, solar panel. Live. So, just need to shave a little bit off there. Whatever. My snips are too. I just had them. Am I losing the plot? Don't answer that, because that answer would be yes. So, shave a little bit off. So, that's one wire done. Anyway, technically, only two wires are going to be getting done on this, so. Oh yeah, it's just me, I've been talking to you about the blurs. So... Um... Yeah, so right now, we need to sort the earth out. Um... I'm all out of blocks, that's the thing. Ah, 
sucks. Because I want to put a switch on it as well, but the only thing with that is... Is that, yeah, being 12 volt, normally the switch goes on the live side of things, but... It's just literally breaking the current. That's 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 all it's doing. It's not doing anything else. It's basically just doing this. On, off, on, off. That's literally all it's doing, but for a switch. Um hmm, damn. Right, let me uh see what I can find guys. And I'll be back. Right. Got a switch. There's three on this one because obviously one is for the light. Um, unfortunately, I've only got one sort of connector that does sort of work for it. So I'm going to just bend the other one around. Um, don't worry, I'm going to shorten that one up. So I won't. So let's use that one for that one. There's it's going to live off the end, I think. Like that. It's a bit better. That'll do there. I may actually hold a bit more wire from that one. Show a bit more off. So I've some decent tour. Actually wrap around. Doesn't help the end so crappy. I'm thinking this is the uh, right ones to be plugging into. That's what I can read from it anyway. The tighter it is, the smaller the wire is for fit and free, so... Ow! said not not ideal but if I had a waterproof switch then I'll be obviously mounting it into that cover but don't have one so check that is off um, I'll put some tape around that one because obviously um, I want to connect it up to the battery as soon as possible and we don't want want things touching and shorting out and stuff so yeah that would not end very good. So I need that one, um, that one, and that one. I better take that one as well. So we'll uh, go and check that. Whoa, smashing it around. Smashing it around. Um. thinking if I chop it about there. Um, well guys, tell you what, if I just get on with this quickly, because you've literally just seen this in the shed, uh, caravan. So I quickly could just get on with this and then um, yeah, I think 
you know, I think I'll come in and leave one of the slats there down by the battery and bring it up. But I need to make sure I've got enough to go to here as well, which I should have plenty to do that, so. Yeah, I'll quickly do that, guys. And then I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, I've, I've taken it all off. That's how much extra I took off, because we can use this on the side of things, for other things as well. Um, I've decided to put up underneath there and run up. I've got dodgy wire there somewhere. Well. Right that way. I've got loads of extra cable, more than I need. But it's not like I can't use it for anything else, so it's, it's all good. Let me put you down there. And then, um, crack on with this. So, the brown one can basically get dropped off just down here because that's going to the battery, right? And what I do is with the black one, I'm going to run up around here, out into the negative side of the solar panel, and then I'm going to chop it off, and then the other bit connect into it again, down and around into the battery, the negative side of the battery, I should say. Got it all untangled, that is. Why are for days? And then hopefully it doesn't rain and there's enough sun to see if the uh, pump works. So that wind's picked back up again. It's actually something getting chilly again now. So, one more should do it. So, that's one. Just got one more to do. Probably right, find it easier if I go well back right here. a bit easier. <laughs> Whoa, probably gone too much now. And there's another one. So, like I said, the brown one can get chopped off right at the battery. I'm going to leave a foul bit because, you know, you never know. I'm going to wrap this last bit up. Well, I'll probably get used for something else then. See, there's a fair bit there. So, now, yeah, you can see the Hopefully, I can fit this all the way up. I say hopefully, because it doesn't always work that way, because of everything else getting in the way. Oh, there we go. Sorted. So there's that one. So that one needs to run across to here, wherever this one lands. So then we go grab another screw because this one's absolute crap. So we'll put this back up. About there. Uh, you can't see anything because my back's turned to you. How rude am I? Um, I'm one enough, I've got enough black cables to get down. I don't think I have. But do you know what? I'll make it work, it's fine. So, slip them off that. Take that one. And, no, right, my screwdriver's here, it's all good. I 
leave. That one was the negative side. And this is going to be interesting. A small block with thick wires. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, you can't even see. That's my bad. I've got one more to go in there yet. But the question is, is it going to be long enough? No, it's not. Fantastic. So I'll sort that bit out in a minute. It's fine. Let's just see if we can get this pump working first, shall we? So that's that one. So now we've got, obviously, the grey one, which is the solar side things. This one. Ow. Well, the pump is not on now, so I'm guessing the switch is working alright. switches it says 16 amp on them so apparently they're good for 16 amps or something so bear in mind this is not straight or level please do expect it to go everywhere um check that everything's connected in fine that's connected in fine Nothing. So it might be a case that I just need to do something with this. Because you can see... There, that. Oh! There we go. Maybe it was just a wire then. Maybe it was just this wire here. Well, it's fine. It works. That's good. Um, most of these holes are blocked up. Plus, you can see... The third panel's got nothing on them. This one has nothing whatsoever, apart from just a little bit at the top there. But they have very, very little on them, some-wise, so. But it works. So yeah, this one here, turn around again. This one here, literally you know, connected into there, but I'll put a ring side of things on it and connect it into the, that one there. If it'll focus. If it'll focus. There we go. And basically, just ran all the way up. I should have put that at the other side, really. Never mind. Um, so basically, you got the lives coming in from the 220 watt ones, and the negative from the 220 watt ones. You got the live here from the 100 watt one, and live, uh, negative here, sorry, from the 100 watt one. And then you got that one going to the junction box up there. And this one here, which is his own separate line going to the pump, as you know. You expect, I'm going to expect to lose a fair bit of power running through this line. That's the whole reason why AC and DC are different. Um, basically, AC is alternating current and DC is direct current. Direct current is good for cars, which is 12 volt stuff, 24 volt stuff which doesn't have to travel very far. Um, AC is better for long distances, which is why your homes have AC power, not DC. It doesn't lose so much energy, shall I say, through the lines. DC would lose a ton. So 
bear in mind this is only five, six, maybe some meters long. Um, expect to lose a fair bit through that. If I had proper DC cables, then it would be better. But I'm just trying to make make use of what I've got and use up basically what I've got as well instead of going out and buying extra stuff. I just seen seen that being pointless. Struggle to get out then, Jesus. But also, like I said, the sun is barely on the panels. And uh, it's to be expected, so. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. You can see it fluctuating up and down as the tree moves over the panels. <laughs> well, as a shade, shall I say. So yeah, it's not, not too bad, not too bad. Switch it off. So like I said, mainly the, mainly the switch would be, whoa, up, would be on the um, positive side of things, but it's, a, it's just a switch. It's just to, it's just to turn it on and off to break, break the circuit basically, that's what it is. So if you're breaking the circuit, either on the positive or negative side, you're still breaking the circuit. Um, but this is just operating one pump, so I'm not really fussed about that at all. So, uh, um, yeah, we'll give a, we'll give the panels a quick wash off. Turn that upside down with things. Essentially, electric and water don't really go. Quick blast off. Obviously, solar panels, you'll tend to find solar panels work better when it's obviously sunny, but also when it's cold. Um, well, it can produce more when it's cold. When they heat up, they don't produce as much. Don't know why. Um, yeah, good. Good that it works. I'm, I'm glad that it works. Um, need to grab some tape. Tape that up and then connect in the other side to the battery. So I'll quickly run in here. At least I can put my hands straight on the tape, that helps. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Just go and grab what you need. I'll set you back up here again, somewhere. Zoom in a little bit for you guys. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, don't be a pleb. Oh, come on. Jesus. Oh, it's gonna be my head in. You're gonna fall over. Don't fall, stay there. Come on, Mum, you can speak. You can speak. What's that? Quite as I've ever heard you before in life. Maybe we should get you drunk. So now I've just got all of this bit to do. Um, connect up to the battery and stuff. Whoa, why is it in? Don't be doing that. I don't think that one's going to be big enough, so I may have to go over the top. No, go over the top because that's the next biggest size I've got. 
So let me uh where are the two? Okay. Oh, where are you off to? Can you see right away? That's not too bad actually. So, because this is obviously the bigger one, I'll connect this. You can't see from there, and I can't even hold you up, so sorry, guys. So, I'm going to put this one underneath this one here, because obviously it's going to be using up more current as well at some point. So, I'm just going to do that. Connect back up. Just tuck that down like that, and we're good. Well, we would be good if this bloody meter stays connected. So basically, just like that. Look. Um, that's literally it. We just need to now dig up the ground. And uh, go from there basically. Yeah, I really wish this was a waterproof switch. Because uh, it'd be great having that on the outside. But it's not. So we'll just tuck this one out of the way. Like that. And then obviously we'll run the cables nicely down. And buried. And this one, same again, nice down and buried. But anyway, I'm going to go reply to these messages and uh, be back in a minute to dig this up, I suppose. So, see you in a bit. Alright, guys, I'm going to start digging this up now. Um, yes, I finally went and got my tripod because well, it'd be a bit awkward else.
try asking me it for this, uh, guys. Battery seems to run low already. Well, oh, wrong way. Um, may have been a little short, but oh, I can't like it now. Um, yeah, it'll do. It'll be fine. Um, so you'll try put it. I'm gonna leave it as that for a minute, guys, because this video is gonna get way too long. Else, um, but the majority of it's done. So it's not too bad. So yeah, majority of it's done, which is good. But it works. I mean, this is how crappy we've got it at the moment, especially that cloud covering the sun. So there's literally nothing on the panels. And we've still got that. Bear in mind, we're going to be losing power through the cables as well. So, ah, oh dear. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Um, I'll probably finish this bit off and probably dig the other bit out. And then, um, yeah. I'll probably do a video of installing the lights and stuff like that when uh, we go around to actually getting them. So I'll put that in place now for when we do have the lights that saves me putting this, another line in then, sort of thing. So really is cleaning out. It's the right mess. Yeah. Anyway, guys, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're having a good day, whatever you're doing. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.